So AI is going to replace the consultant's job. So you need to learn about the AI technology, not the SAP. So SAP is not a right thing to learn right now. Are you thinking like this one? So today's uh, class will be um, important for you or today's class will be a way we can say this will be a myth breaking uh, session we can say okay which will uh, where we will be answering couple of points we will be discussing on couple of points where you will be able to understand if ai is going to replace your job or it is going to make your job better okay so that we are going to discuss today so let's start so first question is most of the people you are getting this question like uh, AI is coming right now and many things have been replaced and many jobs have been replaced. So is consultant job in danger or in SAP consultants job in danger um, due to the introduction of AI. Okay. So first thing let's understand what is a AI and how it will be impacting the job of SAP consultant. Okay. So AI is if we simplify it so ai is it is basically it will be capturing the data whatever data is available so it will be capturing all of the data and uh, it will be finding or it will be analyzing itself for a solution and it will be providing a solution to you so most of the we can say ai will work like this one okay either they will give you some information or they will do some jobs for you like you can see the video editing you can see the script writing you can see uh, generating a clip so these kind of work you are already aware of it so what kind of next level data it can generate or what kind of next uh, level of work it can do so ai can do a lot of more work so this is a kind of ai can do but basically first thing first thing to consider over here without a data ai is nothing to do or they cannot do anything so for any kind of ai you are using so that is basically it is uh, working on the large language model okay uh, so in that you can see there will be you you can see any kind of chat ai tool is there chat gpt is there or let's say this uh, google gemini is working right or uh, let's say there is uh, any other thing is there so that is working on this large language model so basically you ask something based on the historical data whatever data it is having it will provide you an answer okay now in sap consultant there are two types of we can say two kind of jobs are there for sap consultant one is a strategic consulting and second one is a configuration any kind of configuration or uh, let's say changes development you are doing that is the second thing like in the system you are doing something okay first part is your consulting part okay consulting part means whenever there is a issue is arising or whenever there is a issue is there you need to analyze it and you need to provide a solution you need to analyze it uh, let's say based on certain things you need to analyze it so based on that you can do your work and uh, definitely you can consult uh, let's say if they are not only having any issues on the system level they might be having any questions or any doubt any thing they will be having so you have to provide a solution or provide a consultation to them right so like if if i say ai will take the job of a doctor will it no right so ai can prescribe you some medicines but see the normal thing is a doctor can see you a doctor can let's say they can uh, um, uh, let's say check up and by the check up they will be finding out let's say simple uh, let's say one cold can have me multiple medicines right so similarly one single issue can be having multiple root causes will be there okay so you need to check what kind of things are there so there will be strategic consulting will be there okay so this is the first thing so uh, mostly uh, if we say about the configuration part the first part of uh, we can say sap consulting that can be managed by the sap uh, sorry that can be managed by the ai but the consulting part mostly consulting part will not be replaced that will be definitely it will be require a human touch 
right so that's why basically most of the companies or most of the client they they are willing to uh, let's say co-pilot this thing co-pilot means ai will help the human not ai will replace the human because most of the uh, things it can be let's say if there is any decision needs to be taken that final decision needs to be taken by human not by uh, ai because ai will take only the data into the consideration but there are certain things are there which you need to do or you uh, don't need to do those kind of things can be done by a human so this is the first thing second thing uh, let's say in sap if we say about the ai so ai is all about you can say automation right so which manually one person was doing in five minutes or ten minutes that can be done by a ai in few seconds so that that we come to the ai part so sap is already handling the ai part with the help of sap s4 hana okay so you don't have to worry about it sap is already have been introduced some of the let's say automation tools some of the kpi tools are there key performance indicators are there based on which you can uh, let's say analyze most of the data you can find uh, whatever things you require you can get it from that data let's say uh, you need to see what kind of purchase orders are there based on that you need to see what kind of let's say how much value you have purchased how much value you have sold or how much stock is there so all of the reports you can get from the kpi tools there are a lot of kpi um, uh, let's say kpi apps are there available for each of the modules so you can uh, help get help of from that one and you can take help from that one and it will make the user's job pretty much easier okay so there will be let's say it will be integrated to the charts and the graphs label it will be pretty much advanced level of reporting we can say the kpi tools are advanced level of reporting so that will be that is helping users a lot so based on this whatever things are required sap is implementing and sap is uh, we, we can say they are introducing it whatever required for the client so you don't have to worry about it but mostly if we say about the uh, let's say if i say about the automation in sap we already know that in sap we are having background jobs like you don't have to do it manually the user don't have to do it manually let's say the purchase requisition they don't have to convert to purchase order in manually they don't have to print the purchase order manually so for everything there will be a background job will be scheduled so by the time system itself does the job for you for the users actually okay so there is sap like in my career also i have seen many times people or clients they will say we need some automation we need some something to automate and people take some time people invest some time and they see what kind of automation we can do for sap but uh, mostly the outcome will be mostly like uh, it is sap is already automated whatever things needs to be there as a automation thing so that is sap already it is taking care of it right but how to let's say sap can do the job they can it, it can run the job in background but who will be scheduling that job or who will be creating that job that job needs to be created by the consultant okay so that will be there so similarly ai can generate a, let's say invoice it can generate but the background settings and whatever things are required so it can uh, done by the consultant only okay so that will be there so it is better like I am not saying that AI will not come to SAP. AI definitely, if everyone is going to adopt the AI, so definitely SAP is also going to adopt the AI unless it is adopting the AI. So simple case, if we say about the Maruti company and other companies in India, okay, if you see, so like whenever the <clears throat> introduction of EV model started, uh, Maruti just take a step back on and uh, they didn't adopted that EV technology right now um, Maruti is struggling with EV and other companies like Tata Motors and Mahindra and Mahindra and other companies they are excelling on that platform right because they have taken a uh, step with the 
current scenario what is the future scenario is there they have just adopted that one and they are excelling on it so similarly sap will excel on the ai part also whatever things needs to be integrated and whatever things are getting integrated so that are already on in scope and sap is already implementing and you are you can be a part of that also so maybe in the next class we will be looking into it how you can um, take help of the sap or basically we, we can see in the next class we can see how how the ai is helping actually the sap consultant and whose job we can say whose job as at stake or will be at danger so those kind of things we will learn in the next class but this will be the thing on sap okay so basically whenever there is ai is coming you need to know how to use the ai correct so you need to know how to use the AI, how to take care of the AI so that AI can help you to resume your job or to continue your job or do better at your job so that you need to know. Okay, Like uh, <clears throat> if I say about some examples, like before what we are doing, we are whenever we need some solution, we are just going to Google and we are searching for it. Okay, Now let's say you want to learn something rather asking the questions in anywhere let's say um, at google or to any friends or to any uh, let's say in any whatsapp groups or in anywhere rather asking over there you can just take help of a, uh, let's say any kind of chat ai is there chat gpt is there it is working uh, I, I can say it is working good so you can take help of that one maybe it will give you a right answer or wrong answer that is um uh, that is actually up to you how you are giving the commands okay how you are writing the commands based on that it will give you an answer uh, so basically you can learn how to give the proper command to ai so that it can help you on your learning process and others so uh, basically you can take help of the let's say chat gpt to outline some of the interview questions what are the answers what are the intermediate level of interview questions so those kind of things you can just try to do or try to ask sap uh, sorry ask the chat gpt and chat gpt will outline something for you so basically you can do that one and uh, many times there will be let's say as i have said you like it will be depending on what kind of informations are available or uploaded to the server or chat, chat gpt whatever information are there based on that it will give you an answer okay so maybe this time you are asking next time if you ask it back it will give you a better answer okay so based on the information that are available at the back end based on that it will provide you an answer okay so mostly chat gpt i believe last time when i uh, saw that was server means the data which is having chat gpt that is still 2021 so if you are asking something after that 2022 23 24 likewise if you are asking so main maybe it will be not possible to give you a proper answer so all it depends on the data so conclusion from today's class no ai will not uh, cut your jobs but rather AI will help you in your job so tomorrow we will be um, tomorrow or maybe in the next class we will be understanding how AI is helping in SAP projects so that we are going to see and uh, so this is the final thing as per my opinion AI is not going to cut anyone's job but rather it will be helping the users and helping the clients to achieve better results and it will also help you to reduce your workload at certain conditions that you can take help from the AI and you can be uh, let's say you can do your work efficiently so you try to know how to um, work with the AI how to take help of the AI so those kind of things you need to learn because AI is coming definitely AI is capturing some of the space and next thing it will be there so you have to learn something from it so that's it for today's video so we will be connecting again uh, on the next class so till then there are a lot of classes have been uploaded in sap ml so if you want to learn sap ml in english so there are uh, i believe around 40 classes have been uploaded and continuously they will be getting uploaded so do subscribe to the channel and if you are willing to learn then you can learn it from here 
and uh, if you are willing to learn from me on a live batch then you can definitely try the application link so in the application you will be having a link and you can just register yourself that uh, you are interested to have a class then we will be having a demonstration and whenever the next batch will start definitely i will be uh, notifying you to join those classes and i'll be letting you know what are the criteria and how to join them like that so that's it for today we will meet up again on tomorrow till then bye bye and take care